Hi, it's Christy, and I'm here with a video. I'm going to show you how to pack an Operation Christmas Child shoebox so it's packed full of wonderful items that will hopefully really wake up the child to the understanding of who Jesus is so that she will really desire a relationship with Jesus and accept him as Lord at the shoebox event. So today I'm going with the winter wonderland theme. I'm calling this Christmas in July. It was my friend Lydia's idea. I thought it was a great idea because I have this cute cabbage patch doll that's dressed in this red suit and I combined it with a Wonderland blanket, like a forest friends blanket. And I just love the combination of the red and the green. And I am going to kind of do a red and green all throughout this um, shoebox packing. And you can see how I can get it all in, hopefully. So we're going to start with the ruler. It's a full size uh, wooden ruler and I'm going to put it diagonal. I actually accidentally ordered those on Amazon. I expected them to be six inches, but I didn't read the description well enough. And I'm really happy that they're the 12 inch. I think they're gonna be useful that way. So I put that in diagonally, and now I'm gonna put this flat bandana. I like the red. Again, it matches the theme with the winter wonderland. Even though it has hearts on it, it means it's filled with love. I'm putting that in here. Flat things on the bottom, I always say. And so here's two more things. Super cute Scandinavian print. I think it goes great with the doll and her blanket. And I'm gonna put that in next. It has a satin ribbon and Michelle made these for us. It has a minky on the back. I just love this for my little toddler girls shoe boxes. So I have it so it kind of bends up at the end, which is works out well. And then I'm gonna put this washcloth, it's like an emerald green and it really matches the blanket. So that's going in next, flat things on the bottom. And then I'm gonna put, oh, I think I'll put the coloring book, Give God's Love You printable coloring book is available on blessingsinissuebox.com. And I love how it has God Loves You in all those different languages on the back. Super cute pictures. I think I'm gonna put that on top of the bit bandana here that fits nicely and another flat thing the school supplies i have in here pencils that are pre-sharpened uh, saves them a lot of work from having to sharpen their pencils or try to use a knife or something like that and then i have oh a, a composition book a half composition book and I have the scissors in here and I have an extra um, wheel that goes to the that goes to the viewfinder here. It's an extra wheel. And then there's some stickers, a sheet of stickers in here. And the pencil sharpener I took out because it will make more room. I love this really big thick pencil. It's a good beginner one. Okay, so I'm gonna zip that up. Big pink erasers in there too. And get that organized. This um, flap fits um, really nicely. I'm gonna put it uh, right here. So there's still like a little room here for something like the ball pump. She has a ball pump because I'm doing that with all my toddlers, um, sending ball pumps. And I have um, these kinds of playground balls that can be blown up. And I've been fitting them really nicely inside the cup from Ikea. And I can fit her socks rolled up in there. Let's see if there's any under, here's her underwear. Let's see if we can get the socks and the underwear in. Push them down, get the air out and Okay, that's gonna work. And I kinda wanna put this little bendable doll in here. If I can fit her, I will put her with her arms sticking out. I just think it looks cute like that. Okay, let's see. Here we go. So that's, oh, you can't quite see because of the ball, but she's right there. So I'm gonna 
let's figure out where she can go. Um, I'm going to put the crayons right here, maybe laying down. Uh, no, I'll have them standing up. I think I can do it standing up. I just have to move the blanket a little bit. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, then along the back, I have uh, three extra. This is, it's going to need a pump to be blown up. So I have three extra needles in the bag that it came with, with the pump. I bought those both in Amazon. I'm gonna try that in the back here. We might have to move some things around, but so far that's working. Um, this big old chubby pencil sharpener can go there. Um, I think I'm gonna put these woodland lacing toys. Aren't they cute? Even has a tree, like for Christmas, and a deer. So I thought those go really cute with the woodland blanket. So I'll put that flat, see if I can fit those flat on the bottom. I think these um, toys with the lacing are really great for dexterity for the children for concentration, for creativity. I love including those lacing cards. Okay, so now I'm, I'm doing pretty well here. I think I'm gonna put the dress on top. Let's see how that does, the dress. And I think I can put the bike shorts. These are Old Navy bike shorts. I'm gonna put them right here. I love putting the bike shorts um, in for modesty for the girls that are wearing the dresses. Okay, here's, I think, I think I can put some of the little things in last. So I'll put the doll in and start working around the doll. Okay, so she fits. I wonder, her head just turns a little bit. Just checking that. This is maybe lower down here, I don't know, let's see. No, it's higher. All right, so I'm gonna keep her down here, see if I can get her all the way in. I'm gonna put the, oh, the viewfinder needs to go in. I think I might put her diagonal. The viewfinder doesn't have any give, so you have to really give that a preference. Okay, that's good. Same with the ball and the cup. Hmm. Okay, I might do the crayons on its side after all. Required a little moving. Okay. Then the cup can go here. Oh yeah. This actually, I think the car can fit here too. No, too much. Ah, dancing ribbon rings. They will squish down. Okay, that's good. How are we doing? <laughs> we have a little room there. We have a flat comb which can squeeze easy on the side. A spoon that can squeeze easy on the side. So now we just have this car and I really want to include it. It's super cute. And then also this pretty headband that Michelle's friend made for me. I love the red and the green. It's perfect for this. So dear Lord, please help me figure out how to get this in here correctly. Ooh, okay, there goes that. That was easy. And let me see, maybe this can go under, no. I think, it, oh, it might go around her head. This is really uh, putting me on the spot when I do these videos, but I think it'll work. Okay, here we go. So sh let me see. Over here, it seems like there's some extra space. Maybe, maybe that would even be better. I don't want to break the headband. I wonder if I could put the headband this way. I mean the ball that way. All right, that makes it more room. And it works. All I'll need is a rubber band to hold the lid down. And I think it'll be fine. Here's it, final, final look at it. So we did it. We got the Christmas and July 
shoebox packed with a cabbage patch with a nice ball with the viewfinder which will be a special gift um car cup spoon school supplies and soft lovies i think this is going to be a great great box for a child so thank you for watching let me know what you're packing right now and if you've ever done a christmas in july shoe box thanks for watching god bless you and bye for now